Hey Scorpio Rising, my name is Gary Guad and you're watching Guad Cafe. So today we're going to do an oracle reading for the month of May. This reading is for primarily any Scorpio Risings. If you are a sun and moon and you found yourself here, it's because this video will resonate with you, hopefully. If not, try to look for your rising sign for a more accurate reading, since this is a general reading. Okay, Scorpio Rising, so before we get into the reading, you have the North Node currently in your sixth house, the house of mental health and routine, and it's just health, period. So, being that Aries is here and the North Node is here, you're having to rework or relook at your mental health and diet using affirmations and just your overall routine. Now, perhaps this is you, most likely this is you cleaning out the sixth house. If you have Aries here, or this also can manifest as a mess is um, coming about. Perhaps you're, you'll have an issue temporarily with your health, God forbid, but it's good to know that it's in the stars more than you. And, it, and, and it's fixable. You're able to, you know, reassess your diet, reassess your mental health. You know, I would recommend using affirmations. I know you guys may not fully, you know, believe it at first. Give it a shot. It's, it, it is redirects the negative self-talk that you may have occurring within, you know, this area of life. Um, like I said, you can also attract chaos in this house at the moment regarding your health. Um, a lot could happen, depending on your frequency. I do think it depends on your frequency. If you're exuding a lower frequency, perhaps, you know, if you're angry too much at the moment, frustrated, expecting too much out of life and not pleased, this can manifest as a hot mess. If you are doing the inner work and seeking for further answers, this is going to manifest as clarity as to what to do next in order to level up and get your, you know, health in order. It won't feel a mess. It will feel like now you have the ability to clear out the mess or clean it, clean it out for good. Um, so it may feel really good for you right now, Scorpio Rising, or really bad. Um, it depends on, like I said, your frequency and where you're exuding at. I try to really exercise detachment. I know this is, the, <laughs> this is the hardest to ask of Scorpio, but you're going to have to exercise detachment for the resistance from the expectations placed in your life will keep the things that you desire away from you. You're not in flow enough to recede if you're in that energy okay let's draw some cards we're gonna use the spirit animal deck i like to read with nature and symbolism so let's oh oh look at that what does scorpio rising need to know there is always enough you guys want the cards fast i'm sensing you want it like speeding gonzalez y'all funny okay there's always enough koi fish there's always enough there's always enough to swim around enough fish in the sea hmm are you like six house there's enough fish in the sea is this about a person there's always enough there's always enough why would you feel like there's not enough within the six house let me just sit on this real quick not enough there's always enough hmm Oh, is it your relationship to sex? Perhaps you guys are a little bit sexaholic, some of you guys. And so you guys are not realizing that taking a chill chill pill or just taking it, take, putting a pause to maybe, you know, some, you know, maybe, maybe a little celibate for a week or two. Try it two weeks, you know. If you can't do that, try a few days wherever you are at with your discipline. But I am getting, there's there's always enough. There, there must be a lack that you feel within the sixth house. Um, okay. 
Here, give me some clarifiers. Time to heal. Transformation is beautiful. Snake spirit. Time to heal. Hmm, there's always enough time to heal. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. So right now you're being asked to take a chill pill, literally, like to take a to take it easy, to isolate yourself, to cocoon. 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 Transformation is beautiful. Cocoon. There's always enough. There's some sort of temptation that's keeping you from cocooning. You, there must be FOMO that you're experiencing. There must feel like a, you, you're feeling like you're missing out on something if you isolate yourself. Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. Within the sixth house, you must have joy being impulsive. Yeah, because Aries in the sixth is very like impulsive with routine and doing stuff. So perhaps being impulsive but there's always enough it's still like at the back of my head and, and you guys are so secretive i probably wouldn't even know what it is fully because you guys wouldn't want me to know which is funny so i'm gonna have to like really make a general because i can't really pinpoint what it is because it, it, it it's so many different things for you guys perhaps spirit doesn't want me to specify it to one thing but anyway whatever this is for you whatever is i want to know so fucking bad <laughs> Ew, uh, stop it Okay, there's always enough. What, okay, so there's always enough time to heal and transformation of beauty. I'm just getting that you guys need to isolate, rework your health and routine and diet. Use affirmations if that doesn't help, but you guys are very uh, emotional based. So embrace the emotions of euphoria mo more. Uh, sustain the good emotions because if you do then you can manifest those more and they're in a weird way forms of affirmations if you're just you know a thoughts a positive thoughts that you're sustaining wow life is so amazing right now because you're having an amazing moment sustain that my love because if you do so you can attract that to be your current state at all times you know what i mean so I think it's important to look into that. And I just really want to know what this, this, this there's always enough. Because I don't think it's just sex. There's always enough. Maybe you have an obsession with your routine, food. There is a vice that you're maybe probably having a hard time letting go. Ooh, yes. A vice of some sort that you're having a hard time of letting go. Um, let's see. Let's see what the moon deck has for you guys, Scorpio rising. Let's see what the spirit clarify what it is that Scorpio risings need to know about the sixth house. What vices? How can they get rid of their vices or heal from using their vices? What is it that they can do? What is it? What can Scorpio Rising do? Give Scorpio Rising a solution, Spirit. Give me a solution for them. Give me something. Come on. What can we say to, like, what can we have? This one. Yeah, but, like, let it fly out. Let it fly out, Spirit. Don't just be telling me this one. It's like, um, okay, Spirit. They did want to do that. They did want to come out. Okay, don't stop them too much. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> I love that. Okay, and we're talking about the North Node, and here we have Step Out of Your Comfort Zone. North Node. <laughs> Everything I said, you're going to have to isolate for a little bit. And that doesn't mean you have to... Okay, you know what it is? I think you guys don't like the idea of what people have made isolation to feel like. You guys are not making it a beautiful experience, perhaps. And if you are, just do more of it, you know? And if you're questioning it, don't. Like, let yourself embrace it. Perhaps isolate in nature, you know? Perhaps isolate when the moon's out. Um, Take yourself out on a date is a form of isolation. Just not, con you know, constantly talking to other individuals and letting your frequency and brain um clear out or reset or rest you know in order to get clear on what to do next in your life surrender to the divine full moon energy 
Once you surrender to the divine and let yourself stay in flow, you'll be giving full moon energy. You will feel people. People will feel how radiant you feel, and you already know this about yourself. But imagine it more amplified, based off of where your frequency is at. So if you just tell yourself it's okay to probably do, probably which, you know, it's funny. I do feel like you guys have been already doing everything I'm saying because you guys have, you know, you guys are Scorpio risings. You guys know what you know. You're exposed to you know the negatives and of life and what to do next and what not to do and morals and all that stuff i think sometimes you guys question if you're bugging out maybe or if it's you should be doing it um you know that's interesting surrender to the divine scorpio rising surrender to the divine the divine will lead the way always four conclusions are within reach <laughs> Full moon eclipse, and we just had the eclipse, and I just pulled that card, and it's like a red moon. Check it out, it's like a red and blue moon, or orange and blue. Orange and blue are opposite colors of each other. Duality in the moon. Duality in a different form of color, not just black and white. Not everything is always black and white. It's giving me, like, it's like a rainbow moon to me. Because now I see the yellow. I didn't see the yellow. See red, yellow now. Red, yellow, and blue. And orange. Rainbow moon. Hmm. Conclusions are within reach. So maybe you'll see the colors of life. Yeah, you'll feel the colors of life real soon once these conclusions have been made. But I think, you know what? You guys want to draw certain conclusions for the sake of factual information or like intelligence like in order to know okay is this okay for my energy to be doing or should i proceed with this or post uh persist with this you know because sometimes you guys are aware that you'll entertain things that won't serve you and sometimes you'll get into a pocket of the brain where you'll think everything is not serving you and you know you want to be careful with that because being too isolated could make you guys you know entertain darker realms and perspectives because you're not bouncing off of energy and because you have the ability to access these realms you have to be careful as far as how you isolate yourself i would say okay scorpio rising i hope you guys enjoyed this video my name is gary the god you're watching god cafe until next time